Hey guys, I just uh, wanted to show off uh, another little experiment I've been working on. I don't know why that looks all discolored. Oh, it's just a reflection of something. Um, but I'm using silver leaf from the craft store. This is 99.9% .9 pure silver. Um, and I'm using my nitric acid that I made the other day. Uh, yesterday I put in this amount here. I did not measure it out. This stuff is like super thin it gets blown away so easily um it's not very much at all the whole package is 0.1 ounce or three grams to, in total um but for very small experiments or even if you wanted to do an ounce this stuff really is not that expensive this this packet was i believe 7.99 uh or eight dollars at michael's arts and crafts so what uh I'm planning on doing is uh, I'm going to continue to dissolve uh, yesterday. Like I said, I put uh, this approximate amount in this test tube. So it like filled up this whole area here. And at first I didn't think it was going to do anything after like 20 minutes, there were still no bubbles. Um, I also did not have this on heat, but um, yeah, this is nitric acid alone. And uh, right now I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's still bubbling and almost all of the silver is gone so uh, that's uh, silver nitrate in solution i'm going to be adding this much more uh, in to the test tube here in a little bit and uh, place the exhaust out the window and let it uh, go and i'm hoping that it'll dissolve all that silver as well um, i'm just going to keep adding the silver until it's uh, completely dissolved and and won't dissolve anymore and then I'll have my uh, silver nitrate that uh, I'll be using in later experiments. Um, I'd like to use the silver nitrate to make uh, the compounds uh, for uh, photography. Um, I think it'd be cool to do a little pinhole camera and show my son uh, that's interested in photography that aspect of it. I, I think he'd really enjoy that. Um, I'm planning on using it for quite a number of things i actually i've just got notes written down um but uh anyhow this is uh i haven't seen anybody else using the silver leaf and i thought hey, if uh, there's people out there that don't want to have to buy like a a troy ounce or destroy a an extremely valuable silver coin um that's worth more than the silver it contains then this is definitely the route to go. Um, this stuff is cheap. It's like I said, it's 99.9% .9 pure uh, sterling silver. So yeah, that's it. And thanks uh, for watching. Uh, pretty soon here, I'll be getting back to lock sport stuff. But uh, again, uh, <laughs> the chemistry things that I've been doing are actually part of what I want to do in lock sport. I'm, uh, make my own picks and I, I'm not selling my picks. I'm just pretty much giving them away in trades and, uh, I'm trying to do just unique things that, uh, yeah, it, it just makes it the pick, you know, that much more nice, I guess it, but with me, it's just me having fun. Um, I, I like to make things. I, I like to make things incredibly complex. So, uh, doing stuff like this and actually plating my picks, um, it, it's just really fun to me. Um, I'm going to be doing some copper plating, silver, eventually gold. I've got a packet of gold leaf already. So, but yeah, that's it. I'm going to keep it short here, uh, just over four minutes. Uh, again, thanks for watching. I apologize for the poor video quality. Uh, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys next time.